I'm worried about her safety. I'll keep a close watch over her, of course, but I can't stay up all night every night. And if she's determined to sneak out, she's going to just do it. Instead of trying to stop something you can't stop, just let her go. Let her go? Have you lost your mind? You didn't let me finish. Let her go and follow her. See what this is all about. It may be nothing. She could be sneaking out just to prove she doesn't have to stay with you. Or... Or it could be something serious. Something dangerous, even. There's only one way to find out. Nothing like this in a long time. How are you doing? He hit me again. I didn't do nothing. I just didn't move fast enough and Mrs. Pettis told me to fetch something. Jacob, I'll get you out of here just as soon as I can. I hope that's soon, Lindy. Good night, Jacob. Why have you been sneaking out to see Jacob? And why are you bringing him food? We need the truth now, Belinda. It'll be better for you to get it all out. Jacob looks thinner than when I saw him the last time. Are Mr. and Mrs. Pettis treating him right? We need the real story. It's not a story! It's true! They're being real mean to Jacob! What's Jacob's last name? Is it Marshall? Is Jacob your brother? Belinda, why did you keep this a secret? At the other towns, the train stopped it. I saw brothers and sisters having a real hard time. Those folks only want one kid. And others feel bad about breaking up families. So don't take any kid. I would have taken both of you, Belinda. You say that now, but you know you wouldn't have wanted more than one kid. Jacob had a better chance on his own. Why? Because he's younger. Folks want younger kids. Once you get to be around my age, it's harder to find people that take them. You need to go to bed. But I promise you, Belinda, we will go over there first thing tomorrow morning, and I will Ms. talk. Miss Lay, may I speak to you outside, please? Go to bed. It's going to tell her that we'll go get her brother out of there. That's why I stopped you. I didn't want to get her hopes up. So you think that I won't do what I said? No, I know you'll try to do exactly what you said. But when Mr. and Mrs. Pettis took Jacob, they got legal guardianship. And unless we can prove that he's being seriously hurt, no court will interfere. So you're not going to do anything? Oh, I'll go over there tomorrow and check the situation out. But i got to be careful how I handle this. I don't want to make Hank so mad that he takes it out on Jacob. Well, I'm going over there with you. No, you're not. You can't stop me. 
You be at my office at 8 o'clock. Sharp. I won't wait a minute longer. I'll be there. See the boy and we'll leave. Come on out of here, boy. You just stay right here. Jacob, I'm Sheriff Tyler, and this is Mrs. LaHaye. Lindy's foster mama? Yes. Your sister's very worried about you, Jacob. She believes that Mr. and Mrs. Pettis aren't feeding you enough and that they're working you too hard. Is that true, Jacob? Don't be afraid of him. We won't let him hurt you. Has he laid a hand on you, Jacob? Are they feeding you enough? You said you were going to bring him to church. Why haven't you done that? That's enough. You got your answer, Sheriff Nagip. I wanted to ask them why they aren't sending Jacob to school. Well, no law says they have to. But even parents, let alone guardians, don't have to send their kids to school. That's just wrong. Jacob needs an education if he's going to have any kind of future. Yeah, unless we can persuade Pettis of that, Jacob features on that farm. You don't understand how desperately Belinda and Jacob love each other. What it means to be separated from someone you love that deeply. I don't think you've ever felt that way about anyone in your life. Or else you wouldn't let that happen. Oh. Did you see Jacob? Is he okay? Is he gonna come live here? Well, Linda, I'm sorry. Sheriff Tyler and I talked to Mr. Pettis, but Jacob's gonna have to stay there for now. Our papa's gonna come for us someday. And he's gonna get Jacob away from that terrible man. And he's gonna take both of us home with him. For those of you in the second grade primer, please open your books to page 13. For the rest of you, you can continue doing your multiplication tables. Belinda, will you open your book to page 13? I would like for you to read aloud. Very well, go on. I can't read it. You can try. I don't want to. All right, class, that's enough for today. We will pick up tomorrow where we left off. You're excused. She doesn't want to be part of a family. She really resents me. Maybe even hates me. You and I didn't take to each other at first, remember? And I am so ashamed about how I resented you. It's perfectly natural. You'd lost your mama and didn't want me to take her place. Just like with your papa and me. I'd lost my husband and I didn't want Clark to take his place. But then you fell in love with papa and things changed. I fell in love with both of you. But Belinda has so much anger in her. She's had it much harder than I did. Which is exactly why she needs you. Even if she's not ready to admit it right now. She needs what you have to give. But I have so little to give. I can barely keep enough food on the table for Maddie and me. Those other parents that adopted those children, they have so much to offer. You will leave Belinda a legacy of character. And of a love for others. 
and of faith. That's a beautiful legacy. That's the kind of legacy that lasts. Well, we've gone through all the books at school and all the books here, and you can't seem to find anything that you're interested in. There must be something that you want to be able to read. Mm -hmm. I dropped me and Jacob off at the orphanage. He pinned this letter to my dress. I was supposed to give it to him, but I kept it. Why? These are his last words to us. They're important. I just know it's gonna say how much he loved us and wanted to keep us. And how he'll come back for us someday. Will you read it to me? Oh. Belinda, this letter is private. It's between you children and your papa. I can teach you how to read it. Okay, I'll learn how to read. But will you just read it to me now? All right. To whom it may concern. This is to certify that the biological father and only legal guardian of Belinda and Jacob Marshall, freely and of his own will, requests that the Children's Aid Society provide a home for his minor children until they are of age. Samuel Marshall promises not to interfere in any arrangements the Children's Aid Society may make for them. Sincerely, uh, your father put his mark. Is that all? I'm so sorry, Belinda. I know it must have been very difficult for your father to give up you and Jacob. Let's do the swim holes rotten, eh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Locket. The chain must have broken. Is it valuable? Yes. I'm sorry. It's just that my mother gave it to me a long time ago, and it is very dear to me. Let me help you look for it. Thank you. You know, it's starting to get dark out here. We can look again tomorrow. There's no point. It's gone. Maybe I will. 